Hey guys, this is Tim Balls. We're gonna be playing some Pokemon today. Right off the bat, you get a really tough choice here. Red pill or blue pill? Uh, red pill is- you gotta go on Reddit a lot. You gotta, like, go on bodybuilding forums. It's just, like, a weird sub-community. Uh, so you just take the blue pill and it's exactly the same, pretty much. Nothing really changes in the game. I think there's maybe different cities. Uh, your objective in this game is you wanna, like, hit it into the guy's mouth. There, we've got Ratata. I think Ratatata. And you're gonna have to hit the ball up to the top. Let's hit it up. Hit it up. There we go. That arrow, like, pushes it. And then you gotta hit it into the, uh, pop bumpers here, which are really oysters. And then that reveals all the tiles of Ratata. You'll hit Ratata three times to spell catch. Uh, three-letter word, catch. Cat- Catch! There we go, and then the fourth time you hit it. Bam, you caught the Pokemon. That's a billion points. That's the super jackpot you get there. A lot of points here. Uh, okay, 800,000. That's not a lot of points. Next thing you want to do is you want to evolve the- Hey, get out of there! You want to evolve the Pokemon, so you gotta hit it into this, uh, this other dude's mouth on the left side here. And then you can pick Rattata, and then you- you can evolve it. Alright, so you hit the arrows, and you gotta collect the experience points. Once you do that, uh, these, like, things come on the screen, you pick them up, you hit it in the hole, and it evolved into a Ratatouille! So, you get a jackpot here. It's still not a lot of points. Pretty much sucks. Uh, fun fact here, this game was designed by the legendary Steve Ritchie, Master of Flow. Alright, so you're catching and evolving these Pokémon, it's pretty boring. Um, strategy here when the thing's up top, you might as well just drain and hit it here because you cannot aim in this game. That's a big flaw of a pinball game, I'd say. Once you get the Pokémon, you get to go to these bonus stages. This one's the Meowth bonus. You, like, hit him in the head a couple times, he pukes out these gold coins, and then you collect him. And these are worth a lot of points. These are, like, a million each. And then you get double, and you get triple. Uh, I missed the four axe there. This game really caters to the demographic of, like, kids whose parents don't want to pay for a plane ticket, but they gotta visit their grandparents down in Florida. So you're just in the car for, like, 20 hours. It's just miserable. And really, you might as well just try to catch every single Pokemon in the game, because you got time to kill. So you got a couple of these bonus stages in the game. This one, whoops, all Diglets, just hit Diglets. Knock them all down, and you guys are not gonna believe what happens next. Oh, okay, there's a Doug Trio. So you hit these guys three times, and uh, that's it, you beat the level. That, yeah. You get a lot of points. That's all I can say about these bonus modes, usually. They're like the most fun part of the game, because now you're not just stuck in this pinball hell. So yeah, max out your Pikachu if you can. Um, this will come in handy later. Like right here, you know, hit Pikachu. And you're like, okay, this is good. I get a chance to reset. Alright, now Pikachu puts it back into play. You're like, alright, I got a chance. I got settled. I'm going to take a shot here. Alright, this- this game... <laughs> you, you need the Pikachu, I mean... Alright, but... Okay, now I'm gonna make this shot here, so it doesn't really... Here, this is a pretty advanced maneuver here. Don't really know how that one works. Got an extra ball, though. Here we go. They, yeah, they didn't add tilt in this game. So... <laughs> Just get him up there. A lot of just like, you know, spot on physics. God, everything about this game is just so good. So I guess this mode's pretty cool. You get it from spelling cave in the inlanes and outlanes, and it's gonna tell you about the size of your deck here. Actually, I was just kidding, this mode sucks. Here's another bonus stage here, this is the seal stage, and if you ever wanted to see the speed run of a uh, bonus stage, you're gonna get it right here. 2x. 3 4x! 8! Alright, next guy, 16. And last guy, 32! That was like the only time in this game I've ever made that many shots in a row. Here's a, uh, another expert maneuver here. Oh, yeah, I'm going. 
No, don't mind me. I'm 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 hurrying. I'm going as fast as I can. Yeah, no, I'm 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 in a hurry. I'm going really fast. Oh no, I had to stay in the place where I needed to catch Pokemon. All right, this is the last bonus mode here, the Mew stage. This is by far like the best one. You get so many gay. Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going? All right, all right, we're back. <laughs> Didn't want to deal with that. Uh, th yeah, you get by far. So I've got what? Are almost 400 million points going into this bonus stage? If I could just hit the goddamn shot for once in my life. There we go. Mewtwo stage. Um, the, the, the layout's pretty boring, but, uh, every time you hit Mewtwo, it's like, bam, 50 million points per hit, where, like, everything else is, like, 1 million, so this mode is just by far the best one. Bam, another 50, like, 500 million, okay, I've hit him twice, and then even when you hit these, like, black, uh, black hole things, you get another million points. Bam, 600 million, I just doubled my score, almost, in, uh, 30 seconds. Bam, now I did. And you just keep going. Bam, bam, bam! Triple hit! Uh, spoiler it though, I don't beat Mewtwo here. And this keeps going. And I become really bad at shooting Mewtwo. So this is gonna end here, didn't get Mewtwo. And, um, managed to spell cave like right away, get back to it, and then I get these like awesome awards. Uh, and I go right back to the Mewtwo stage, which is like, as we know, by far the best one. So here's my chance, like, I just need to hit Mewtwo, like, twice, and I'll win, and I got... I just don't, I can't hit him. And I just run out of time again. Because uh, I'm terrible at this game. Sorry, I can't show you what happens if you beat Mewtwo. So then, yep, there we go. It's a pretty fitting way to end, I'd say, after that. Oh, look, a high score. Wow. I beat Nin. All right, so if you watched this far, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you want to do, if you want me to do any more videos like this. Uh, you can leave a comment telling me like what parts are bad, if I should like keep it up in this format, or what I should do. Maybe I should stream more of these games. But I don't really like streaming. Um, I think this is more fun because I get to like write jokes before a little bit. And I would love to do some real pinball games. I think that'd be pretty cool. So yeah, any feedback would be appreciated. If you want. Subscribe to my channel. I, I'm gonna try to do like at least one pinball video a month as well as like one skill skit a month that I've used to do on this channel uh, To kind of like keep consistent content coming out. So yeah, that's about it uh, This is if you're really interested. These are all the Pokemon I wound up catching in the process of filming this video. It's actually like a decent amount I maybe played for like four hours max so I don't know. You could do it, but I would be ridiculous. It would take you, like, a long time because you'd start to get duplicates. Anyhow, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.